Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. So this is just gonna be a night in my life and it is officially fall season. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for a crock pot recipe that I'm gonna be making and then we're just gonna hang out. I wanna watch a movie tonight. It's been a good while since I've seen a movie. So kinda wanna watch something fall related, but we'll see and I wanna do some reading and let's go ahead and jump in the video. Yeah, I'm gonna share my fit check with you guys since I'm already showing you in the mirror. But I'm literally wearing everything from Story. This is the Redemption bra, the intro leggings, and then I maybe the challenge jacket. I can't remember what this jacket's called. These socks from TJ Maxx and then my slippers, which I can't remember where they're from. Hey, chicken. Crockpot recipes on um, Pinterest, and I came across this recipe that is um, supposed to be really easy. And I've made this before. If it's something I haven't made in a while, I like to follow a recipe. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know your favorite crockpot recipe in the comments. I'm interested here. I want to start using the crockpot more. I bought at Target, and I think it's super cute. This literally took no time at all. All right, guys, so I got all the bell peppers just lined at the bottom, and now I'm going to top it off with the chicken, add seasonings, and I think either salsa or a can of diced tomatoes. Okay, we're going to add in some seasonings now. So we've got the chicken fajita, which I absolutely love. You guys know we love this seasoning from H-E-B. We actually need to buy more of this garlic and herb one. I really like this one too. Just some pepper. Some sea salt. A little bit of, oops, garlic powder. I'm not gonna do any onion powder because there's already onions in there. And then the recipe calls for some chicken broth. That's a chicken broth that I got. It's lower sodium um, and I got it from H-E-B. So the recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of this. Just gonna put that on there. Calls for 15 ounces of salsa, 16 ounce um, picante sauce. So I'm gonna add this and I'll just and then I think that's it. I'm so excited, oh my goodness. Okay, all right, let me turn the crock pot on. Okay, so I've got the crock pot on. And then that's it. The timer on my phone for three hours and 10 minutes. And it should be done by 10 o'clock. Uh, so that's gonna be a little late to eat, but honestly, it's okay. I bought these pumpkin spice limited edition Cheerios and I'm seriously so excited. So I'm gonna clean up and then we're gonna eat. So I'm gonna put up all the seasonings, throw away any of the trash, and then also um, put the dishwasher to run. Um, hockey romance that just came out. And I've never read a hockey romance before, but everybody's like raving about it on TikTok. What I read was The Perfect Marriage and that was the, uh, that I finished and it was like, murder mystery type book. It's honestly something so peaceful about going out and watching the sunset. I'm so excited to try this. Um. Okay. I finally got little chip clips. I can't remember if I showed you guys this. Let me know if you like almond milk. So I just tried this and it's really good. It's sweet, which I have such a sweet too. Let me know if you like sweet or savory snacks. Today I've just been on a sweet kit. The cover of the book, it's called Icebreaker. The cover looks really cute, but basically she's an ice skater and I think he's a hockey player. It is a romance book and I'm really excited. I didn't read the like synopsis um, from the book because I honestly just need to know if a good amount of people like it and then I'm interested. I feel like it just sometimes gives too much away. Seeing stuff about it on TikTok that it's good. Um, I wanted to read it. But yeah, another cool thing is it is alternating point of views. So the main character has a chapter and then the other main character has a chapter and it goes back and forth like that throughout the book. And I really like that because I really enjoy getting both perspectives. 
It has a playlist. First song is Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. I'm definitely gonna have to look this up. And I can't find a way to just ignore it. And I can't really take it anymore. Cause I can't stop you from running around through my mind. Okay guys, so the food is all done. Came out pretty good. Finished cooking and it was in here for over three hours on the high heat setting. But I'm gonna go ahead and heat up some rice that we have that are leftovers and um, I'll show you guys how it looks. Oh, well, here's the rice. Whenever we cook rice, we try to make a good amount so we have leftovers for a future meal. And I think this was from yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. All right guys, so this is what our dinner looks like. It seriously came out so good. We both already tried it. And I definitely stuffed Joshua's like to the brim. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up because that helps support the channel. I will definitely see you guys in an upcoming vlog. Um, I'll talk to you soon.